Welcome back, healthy people. Chances are you've used a home remedy at some point. Herbal teas for cold, essential oils to dull a headache, plant-based supplements for a better night's sleep. Maybe it was your grandma or you read about it online. The point is you tried it, and perhaps now you're thinking, should I try it again? Today, we are going to talk about some home remedies. It's not clear exactly what makes a home remedy do the trick. Is it an actual physiological change in the body or more of a placebo effect? Thankfully, in recent decades, scientists have been asking the same questions in a lab and are finding that some of our plant-based remedies aren't just old wives' tales. And so, for the skeptic who needs more than a placebo to feel well, we got your back. Here are the home remedies backed by science. Turmeric. Who hasn't heard of turmeric by now? Turmeric has been used, primarily in South Asia, as a part of Ayurvedic medicine for almost 4,000 years. When it comes to proven medicinal purposes, the golden spice may be best for treating pain, specifically pain associated with inflammation. Several studies have found that curcumin is responsible for turmeric's wow factor. In one study, People with arthritis noted that their pain levels were more reduced after taking 500 mg mg of curcumin than 50 mg of diclofenac sodium, an anti-inflammatory drug. Other studies back up this pain relief claim as well, noting that turmeric extract was as effective as ibuprofen for treating patients with knee osteoarthritis. Don't go grinding turmeric, which stains heavily, for immediate relief though. The amount of curcumin in turmeric is at most 3%, meaning you're better off taking curcumin supplements for relief. That's not to say a soothing turmeric latte won't help. It's suggested that 2 to 5 grams of the spice may still provide some benefits. Just be sure you add black pepper to boost the absorption. Chili peppers. This active component of chili peppers has a long history of use in folk medicine and has slowly become more accepted outside of homeopathy. Now, capsaicin is a popular topical ingredient for managing pain. It works by causing an area of the skin to get hot before eventually turning numb. Today, you can get a prescription capsaicin patch called Quitenza, which relies on a very high level of capsaicin, an 8%, to work. So, when it comes to sore muscles or generalized body pain that won't leave you alone, and you have some hot peppers or cayenne pepper on hand, make some capsaicin cream. Ginger. It's almost law to try ginger when you have a cold, sore throat, or are experiencing morning sickness and nausea. Making a cup is pretty standard. Grate it in your tea for a stronger effect. But the other benefit of ginger that goes less noticed is its effectiveness as an anti-inflammatory. The next time you feel a little queasy and have a headache, try ginger. Ginger works differently than other pain relievers that target inflammation. It blocks the formation of certain types of inflammatory compounds and breaks down existing inflammation through an antioxidant that interacts with acidity in the fluid between joints. Its anti-inflammatory effects are that come without the risks of non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs and SEDs. Eucalyptus oil. Eucalyptus oil has a component called 1-8-cineol, which may help relieve pain. The component has a morphine-like effect when tested on mistrust. And for the essential oils fans, you're in luck. Eucalyptus oil has been shown to relieve body pains even after inhalation. For lovers of Vicks VapoRub, who have been inhaling it as a home remedy for congestion, well, eucalyptus oil is your magic ingredient. However, inhaling eucalyptus oil isn't for everyone. This oil can trigger asthma and may be harmful to pets. It may also lead to respiratory distress in infants. Lavender. Migraine attacks, headaches, anxiety, and general feelings of stress. Inhaling lavender can help with that. Studies show that lavender helps with migraine, lowering anxiety or restlessness, memory troubles when stressed and sleep. Drinking lavender tea, 
or keeping a satchel around for times of high stress is one way to reduce anxiety and relax the mind and body. As an essential oil, it can also be combined with other plant oils for aromatherapy. One study found that in combination with sage and rose, lavender was helpful in relieving premenstrual syndrome, PMS, symptoms. Mint. Mint, as common as it sounds, isn't simple. Depending on the type, it can provide different uses and benefits. For pain, you'll want to look for wintergreen, which has methyl salicylate, a compound that may work similarly to capsaicin. Applying it can feel like a cool burn before the numbing effect takes place. This effect helps with joint and muscle pain. The other mint type that's commonly used in folk medicine is peppermint. An ingredient in many different cures, peppermint has been found to be especially effective in helping treat irritable bowel syndrome, IBS, symptoms. Studies show that along with fiber, it helps reduce spasms, as well as diarrhea and abdominal pain associated with IBS. Peppermint activates an anti-pain channel in the colon, which reduces inflammatory pain in the digestive tract. This most likely accounts for its effectiveness in treating IBS. Beyond digestion and stomach troubles, a peppermint oil capsule or tea may also help with headaches, colds, and other body discomforts. Magnesium-rich foods, feeling muscle pains, fatigue, more migraine attacks, more likely to slip into a numbed emotional state than usual. It might be a magnesium deficiency. While magnesium is often talked about in terms of the growth and maintenance of bones, it's also essential in nerve and muscle function. But studies show that almost half of the U.S. population doesn't get their required amount of magnesium. So, if you've ever complained of these symptoms and got a slightly terse eat spinach response in return, know that it's not completely unfounded. Spinach, almonds, avocados, and even dark chocolate are all rich in magnesium. You don't necessarily need a supplement to treat magnesium deficiency. When it comes to mood, magnesium may also help. Magnesium works with the parasympathetic nervous system, which keeps you calm and relaxed, suggesting that having a magnesium-rich diet might aid in stress relief. While most of these natural remedies don't have any significant side effects, they may be harmful if used in excess amounts. Certain people may also be more sensitive to dosage amounts. So if you're on any medication or live with a condition that's affected by your diet, talk to a doctor before consuming these foods regularly and if you have an allergic reaction or worsening symptoms from any home remedy, speak to a doctor right away. To know more about home remedies, please take a look at our channel.